With the strange times we're living in, there are a lot of people struggling financially. And so we think it's likely that in the next several months, there's going to be a lot more people than normal uh, trying to get Chapter 7 bankruptcy relief. And so I've made this video just to kind of explain how Chapter 7 works. Chapter 7 bankruptcy is a simple type of bankruptcy. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, the main benefit to the consumer is that all of your unsecured debt basically will go away, with a few exceptions. We can't eliminate student loans, child support, alimony, or taxes usually, but, but pretty much any other debt can, can be eliminated. You can even keep a lot of your property. You know, not you can't in every situation, but the average person can keep their house as long as they can keep making their house payment. They can keep their car as long as they can keep making the car payment. So your house payment and car payment won't change. You'll pay that debt just like you haven't filed bankruptcy, and all your other debt would go away. Okay, and and the process to do that is pretty straightforward. Usually, people call in and do a consultation with us, where we just gather some. Uh, rough in information about their situation and tell them about the different chapters of bankruptcy. And we'll also quote prices. If the person ends up being interested in filing a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, we do have to collect a lot of documents from you, okay? We need pay stubs, bank statements, tax returns, and there's a packet to fill out. Now we will run your credit report and that's going to help us uh, get some of that information and take a, a little bit of the burden off of you. But there are certain documents that we have to have in order to, to do our job properly, okay? We want to make sure that we eliminate all of your debt, and we want to make sure that you actually qualify for Chapter 7. Um, and we file a lot of bankruptcy cases, and so we know who will qualify and who won't if we have all the documents we need to, to run that analysis. But assuming you do qualify for Chapter 7, you will have to review all the paperwork that we prepare. We'll have to go through it all in detail. You've got to read it all and make sure that it's all filled out correctly. If, if you fill out the paperwork incorrectly, you might not get your bankruptcy discharge. Your case might be thrown out. And you know, if, you, if it looks like you're hiding something and trying to commit fraud, it's possible that there could even be criminal charges. So it's just important that you read everything and make sure it's all true because you've got to sign it. Uh, basically, uh, promising that everything you put in those documents is accurate, okay? And, but once we do that, we'll file your case with the bankruptcy court, and that's what begins your case. Starting that day, your creditors have to leave you alone. You have something called an automatic stay, and that prevents your creditors from calling you. They can't send you a letter. They can't uh, garnish you. Everything just stops, okay? And you know, our law firm will handle all of your debts for you from that point going forward, okay? The creditors will have to go through us if they need anything, and you will just have to continue paying those debts that you're going to keep, like your car payment and your house payment. Um, once we file a case, everyone does need to attend a meeting of creditors, and those are normally done in person at the courthouse. Now, right now, we're going through all this coronavirus stuff, and the courthouses are basically closed. And so we've adapted, and, and the court is now doing those uh, hearings by telephone. But we'll call in with you, we'll give you a list of the questions that are usually asked and prepare you for the hearing. And the whole thing is really simple. It takes a, usually on average less than five minutes per case. Now you'll have to answer most of the questions, but it's pretty simple stuff. Like did you review and sign the paperwork? Uh, did you list all your property? And so uh, it's generally yes or no questions and, and it's not very difficult. Sometime in that same time frame, we would also review paperwork for you to keep your house. So if you want to keep your car or your house or, or whatever, we will go over the paperwork with you to allow you to keep that property and you'll sign that and we'll file that with the bankruptcy court. And then about two months after the meeting of creditors, that's when the court will review your case and if everything is in order, they will enter an order basically saying that all your debt's wiped out. and. You know, that's, that's the ultimate goal here. We, we get our clients discharges. We've got our clients thousands of discharges. And, and a discharge is just a, a order saying you don't owe uh, all of that debt anymore. So it's amazing when our clients get that, they're, they're excited. And that's when your credit will become a little better. A lot of the account balances will disappear off of there. Uh, and, and that's the first step towards rebuilding and uh, restarting uh, your financial life. And, and so you can go on from there and, uh, and put all of that behind you. So 
If you're interested in learning more about how Chapter 7 works, uh, feel free to give us a call and we will schedule a consultation uh, with you to, to explain exactly how it would work for your situation. Thank you.